Hello and welcome to the video lecture associated with surrogate dimension keys. So, now we're talking about our dimensions. So our dimensions are stores, our products, uh, our periods associated with time. Um, so, all of our keys, and uh, I've spoken about this in uh, lectures going back into IT117, uh, in, the, in data warehousing, dimension tables should have surrogate keys, right? non-business related. Uh, the business keys may change over time, so you can't have that complexity uh, hit your data warehouse. You really shouldn't. Um, it's, it's an enormous undertaking to deal with uh, key changes. Um, if it can be handled at all, depending on how you've designed your, your data warehouse. Um, these are going to help keep track of your non-key uh, attributes. Um, so you, you want that key to, again, not be business related. Um, surrogate keys can be simpler and shorter. Uh, so they're going to take up less space. Uh, we've just talked about how uh, data warehouses can be enormous. Uh, so we, we want to, as much as possible, when we're using primary keys and foreign keys, using uh, system generated surrogate keys that are as small as possible. Um, and what's nice is that when you're setting up your keys, they can be the same length uh, and format for all of your keys. So if you have one way of designing uh, system generated keys, you can use that for all of your tables because now this is your derived data later. Um, so uh, surrogate dimension keys. Uh, should always be used in your data warehouse. Enough said. End of video lecture.